What is happening, guys? How are you doing? It's your boy, Connor85, and I'm back again in the cut. Hopefully, you guys are healthy and well. Sorry I missed out yesterday, guys. I was quite busy, but I'm back again today. You know, I've got a part-time job on the side. Well, full-time, actually. I've got a full-time job on the side, plus doing YouTube, plus also doing other things as well. So it's quite a lot sometimes. But yeah, guys, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. This is your home as well. And also, guys, make sure you hit the bell notification. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So we've got this special shoe that we got um, on Monday. I released a video on the first impressions and I did slate this shoe. I wasn't really kind of fair. I didn't give it a fair chance. And I wish I had because when you hold the shoe, which I'll show, demonstrate to you now, uh, it just pops pretty much, you know, the shoe is just beautiful. You got that like fusion red-esque you know, on the tick and on the laces, and boy, do they really pop and bring life into this shoe. It's a very beautiful shoe. That's your kebab wrap there. I presume that's a kebab wrap there, and you got this like, it's almost like a, you know, those like mountain hiking sh uh, boots. Yeah, I think it's just a stitching man, which kind of gives that vibe. You got a black sole, and you got this like elephant-esque skin, but it comes in that like, dark brown chocolate with the little you know, veins there, which are slightly slightly darker. Boy, this shoe is beautiful. I'll get the other pair as well. So, so both pairs are identical, apart from obviously the back over here towards the ankle. That's, that's got this C, which is colored. And then that's got obviously the kebab wrap there as well. So this is called Kabib and Destroy. And sorry, sorry, kebab. I beg your pardon, kebab and destroy. I don't know why I keep saying kebab for. So it's called the kebab and destroy, and these just came out on Monday. And one thing I think I did not really see on the pictures was I think just how the colors, you know, look to the naked eye. I always feel like, you know, no matter how much technology advances, you can never like replicate, you know, the crispness and the clearness when you look from your own naked eye. And when I hold it now and look at it, it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Um, I am still a bit funny about this sole. I think the sole should have been a little brown or maybe like a sort of a, I don't know, an off-white, just to sort of like liven it up and give it more color compared to the darker you. This is, I think just kind of makes it just a little bit understated. Um, but at the same time, I think the shoe would look nice in autumn and uh, winter. I don't think it's a shoe for summertime really unless you're Travis Scott. I mean you can still wear things like to match with it because I'm sort of thinking more on the side of cargo pants. You can wear like brown cargo pants with this as well. Then wear like a cactus jack like brown top as well. Or you can either better yet I'm wearing a butter cream essentials by fear of God. You can either wear it with this and also like uh, a butter cream uh, tracks the bottom or some shorts as well, then that will look fire with these as well. I think it's one of those shoes that slightly kind of depends on the outfit you're wearing. You know, you can't just put on like a, some purple trousers and a green hoodie and put this on and just, you know, it's just not a vibe, nah, nah. You've got to wear the outfit all together. Um, so yeah, the styling is really beautiful. It comes in this like, so on the toe box, you've got this like kind of crinkled leather, which is very soft, which I do worry that it's gonna crease very easily so make sure you get some force fills for these and you've also got this like very soft um suede which goes all the way you know to different parts of the shoe the tick also comes in this like um slightly grainy leather then obviously we'll spoke about the elephant skin over there which obviously is leather but obviously it's giving that effect Um then the back there's got the leather bits as well i do like how this it's almost like, I don't know, some sort of like a hue of green. Artists help me out. And then you've got the tongue, which comes in this. It's like as if it's a kind of a peachy orange. As if you, or you mix peach and orange, you get this sort of color. Uh, one thing I'll definitely, I think, probably do is change one side of the lace. And maybe like put some mustard yellow laces on there just to give it more pinache. You know, that's just what I do. Um, so these retailed for 113 pounds. I'm not sure if in, maybe in USA, 
and Asia, but in the UK and Europe, these were not available in a lot of mainstream shops. There's mainly skate shops and sneakers as well. So they are pretty rare. I know the resellers are not doing that great right now, but I, I think these are ones that you can sit on and they will definitely go up in the future. By how much, I'm not entirely quite sure, but I know these will definitely go up because they are quite rare. And I think especially um, in autumn and winter, you know, you can actually sell these up, sell these to customers and demand a premium for this, for these, sorry. So yeah, um, let's speak about the inside of the shoes. So I do like how inside the tongue, you've got this like uh, label there with the C there. That's a nice little touch. Let's have a look on the inside. Oh, all right. So, wow, the inside is pretty dope, you know? So the inside, you've got like a, that hand that's holding a kebab wrap. Can you see that hand there? So that hand is holding a kebab wrap there. Then it says something there, like I think it says, oh, I'm not sure what it says. I think it says Ali. Yeah, it says Ali something. Let's double check on that side and see what it says. I like these like little fine details when you get to find out little, sorry, little things. Oh, I forgot as well, like uh, with these being SBs, they also come with an extra pair of brown laces. So as you can see guys, like, you know, with these laces, they're more suited for like autumn, winter. This is an autumn, winter shoe. So on this side, let's have a look. These are very narrow as well. So make sure before you wear them, you take a few laces off the holes. So we've got the hand, as you guys can see there, let's just move that there. So you've got the hand there, oops. This thing's annoying. And all the way to the front there, as you guys can see there. And yeah, guys, I mean, it's a beautiful pair of shoes. I think it's one of those shoes that you just don't wear unless you've got a few, a few pairs. Um, if you're gonna invest in these shoes, you can invest in them. People are gonna resell for not a lot of money. So you can get your size for at least 150, give or take. And you can just stock them up and uh, yeah, then resell. Once the price goes up, you can make yourself a nice little profit. This is more, I think, like uh, secure to invest in than investing in cryptocurrency. Anyways, guys, that's been me. It's been great. God bless you. Make sure guys you subscribe and make sure guys you also follow my Instagram handle. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace, I'm out.